the Street Fighter series has been with us for over 35 years, spanning a large number of sequels, prequels, and spin-offs. The series has given fans over 90 characters ranging from memorable, essential, to forgettable. In this video, we are going to present the 5 worst Street Fighter fighters of all time, and we hope that Capcom will completely forget about them. Now, this list will only contain characters from the main series, so it will not have characters from the Street Fighter EX series. Otherwise, probably the 5 will be from that series. But before we get started, a gentle reminder to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you are notified whenever I drop a new video. Hakan A Turkish oil wrestler that joined the franchise with Super Street Fighter 4. Hakan sports an unusual design and story. He is the owner of the world's best olive oil company and uses it to wrestle in the traditional Turkish wrestling. Since his debut, Hakan was met with negative reception. His goofy attitude was over the top, and his cartoonish supers and moves made him more irritating than funny. Hakan has not made a return since Ultra Street Fighter 4, and I'm not sure whether there are fans awaiting his return. El Fuerte One of the four new characters of Street Fighter 4, El Fuerte is the franchise's first and only Lucha Libre. While the idea of the character was really interesting, the execution left a lot to be desired. His gameplay style felt very different from other Street Fighter casts and did not mesh well with the gameplay of Street Fighter 4. He has a very frustrating Vortex game which gave him an unfair advantage. His story and stereotypical appearance also did not help his adoption and many fans were happy not to see him return since. 12. A white humanoid creature that was introduced in Street Fighter 3 Third Strike. 12 is a biological creation of the secret society led by Gil. The creature had the ability to copy moves from the opponents. 12's design was one of the reasons he is in this list. A featureless body in odd moves made him a character that felt incomplete or one that jumped from another game. 12 could come back in a similar fashion as 11 in Street Fighter 5 as a dummy-like mirror match type character or as a bonus, but I sure hope he will not take a spot from another well-established and more interesting warrior. Ingrid Debuting as an exclusive character for the PSP version of Street Fighter Alpha 3, Ingrid was a character originally designed for the cancelled Capcom Fighting All-Stars arcade game before making her playable debut in the ill-fated Capcom Fighting Jam. Being a character that was added late to Street Fighter, Ingrid felt odd compared to the rest of the cast. Her sprite looked out of place, her moves were uninspired, and her story was never developed enough to make any sense. There is a reason that Ingrid never made a comeback since, and we hope it stays that way. Abigail One of the newly introduced Street Fighter characters, Abigail is a giant, childlike character who was first introduced as a Final Fight boss back in the late 80s. His transition to Street Fighter came with Street Fighter V. His body is ridiculously massive for the game and his moves are odd. His childish, goofy personality and terrible story made him a character deserving a spot in this list. If the game needs a giant Mad Gear grappler, then Hugo would be a better fit. What do you guys think of this list? Did I miss anybody? Or are there other characters you do not want to see ever again make a comeback in Street Fighter? Let me know all that and more in the comment section. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video from Neo Geo Now. Now don't forget to like and subscribe if you have not done so and I would like to take this opportunity and thank my patrons for supporting the channel and making this content possible. Making daily videos and especially the documentaries and lore episodes takes a very long time and a lot of effort and being able to get some support for these time consuming tasks allow me to keep going and strive for more and better content. With that said, I want to give a big special shout out to Michael, Brian Tiard, Fahad Suedi, Jacques Paul, Beru Gadono, and Enrique Sandoval. As well as special thanks to Shaka Asamian, Refugio Robles, Felipe Guimara, Ji Hao Ju, Mohamed Al Blushi, Anthony Longino, Bernd Retnas, 
Lily Wong Esmeralda, Goran, and Danger Man 1973. Those of you who are not yet Neo Geo Now patrons, I hope you will check my Patreon page where you can become patrons, helping the channel produce more videos as well as receive special perks that are exclusive to patrons, like early access to videos, exclusive making offs, and other SNK digital goodies. Link for the Neo Geo Patreon page is in the description below. So until next time, thank you for watching.